For decades, this piece of property was an eyesore along High Street. Well, not anymore. A Des Moines man spent the past few years transforming this property. And the change is dramatic. The entire community likes what it sees. And now the uh, owner wants to keep it that way, going up against the city to protect what he has created. WHO 13's Andy Fales joins us live along High Street. Andy, the community wants us to stay, and we've heard that this is a, a solution to a problem that really doesn't really exist compared to what they've done there. Uh, yeah, exactly, Elias. Uh, this has become a really popular spot here in this neighborhood, not very far away from the TV station. You can see the production going on behind me. It's a really beautiful, very functional garden. Just to give you a point of reference, this is exactly the space that we're talking about, very close to downtown. Uh, it is just west of MLK, a block north of Ingersoll, uh, very close to the city, absolutely in the city. It has become one of the most productive spaces in all of Des Moines, but the city is, uh, itself has taken that production and wrapped it in red tape. For a hundred years, it was a forgotten space. It was barren, not much of anything. But Ryan Francois saw something in it. I live a block away and I thought we could do something special with this spot regardless. The sons of a master gardener, Ryan and his brother Eric, packed it full of vegetables, fruit trees and flowers. And I think that's, we've been really impressed with the amount of produce we can get out of small spaces. It's been a hit with neighbors like Bill Callahan. I stop and chat with people who are working out here, learn about new plants, what they're growing. Uh, I like the community of it. Community is what it's drawn to vegetable stands and potluck suppers, to pizza parties around the handmade clay oven. But then the city took notice. First, it demanded an enclosed shed. The Francois complied, but the city wasn't done. From there, it kind of expanded to, oh, by the way, you can't host any kind of public events or sell anything on site, even stuff that you grow and make. Those have stopped, but the city hasn't. It now says the whole property must be fenced, and that fence has to sit 7 to 10 feet inside the sidewalk to allow for things like utilities and sidewalk expansion. It's kind of been a direct uh, conflict with what we're trying to do with the space, trying to grow veggies, and it's a smaller lot, really, that we're trying to squeeze a lot of produce out of. They've asked to buy the right-of-way property along the street from the city to preserve some of that space. The city is balking at that too, and Ryan is at wit's end. I think we need to rethink our zoning ordinances if this is the outcome for people trying to do productive, healthy things for our own citizens. Okay, so a little bit of closure to this story tonight is the Planning and Zoning Commission did meet at six o'clock and Ryan Francois and a slew of neighbors showed up at that meeting and they all spoke to the commission explaining their position. They really did a pretty good job talking about what they want, what they need out of this. Now, city planners had already recommended that the commission deny Francois's request to buy the strips of land along 23rd, 24th and High Streets. But again, the speakers made a very convincing argument and the commission voted to allow Ryan's purchase request to move forward to the city council. So to just give this a little bit more context, this is kind of exactly what we're talking about here. On High Street, you'd notice that many of the neighbors, they have fences that come right up to the sidewalk here facing High Street. The city under this ordinance would want the Francois to put their fence all the way back here, leaving all of this empty ground. And one more note about the fence itself. You saw a little bit of video there in the story. It's a wooden split rail fence that will not only cost Ryan Francois about $10,000 to build and install, it's a fence that doesn't have any metal mesh on the inside. It really isn't a fence at all. It's just something decorative to delineate the property lines along these streets here. So guys, more fight yet to come, but a win for the Francois brothers tonight. Yeah, it was a very decorative fence. These are the uh, the Maple Syrup brothers, correct, Andy? That's that's right. Yes, you know them. They are. Uh, yes. uh, they've got a lot of ingenuity running <laughs> in that family. Let's say that they are good at what they do. Andy fails with the story tonight. Thank you.